I got the Dodgers. I mean, they went to the World Series last year. This team has this core has been kept together the last couple of years, and finally they broke through to make it to the World Series. And they're bringing back a lot of their pieces, so I'm gonna just stick with the Dodgers on the my future Cy Young for this year, uh, spearhead spearheading the way. Yeah, I got the Dodgers too. I think that Justin Turner broken wrist though hurts them big time. He's a big middle of the bat type presence. For how long though is he out? Probably a couple months. Oh. Well, months is a game changer. Yeah. Shout out to AJ Pollock when he was out a couple months. That ass. That was a, <laughs> it's a nice bet. That's a inside story. But uh, yeah, I mean, um, nah. I still, I still think they're the class at the division. But I do have the Rockies coming out wild card one. The Rockies have such a young staff that they need, you know, they need those guys to in their second year or so to contribute. They got Kyle Freeland who's coming in second year. John Gray, who got hurt. That was a big blow, I thought. I thought they might miss the playoffs last year when he hurt. I think he hurt his toe against the Giants. So he was out. He missed some time. Um, but if he's healthy, he's a solid ace to that staff. Um, Chad Bettis coming back for a full year from cancer. Shout out to Chad Bettis. Um, but, yeah, I, I like what they have. They have Nolan Arenado, Charlie Blackman, two of the best hitters in the game. They have Coors Field always helping them out. So, yeah, I think they're really good. They bought back Cargo on a one-year deal, which I think is perfect. Talk about locker room guys. He's the perfect locker room veteran who can still play at a you know, a good high level. They got Ian Desmond possibly taking over and left. And don't forget about David Dahl, who I think could be an X factor come July, August, who was really good two years ago. He came up and like hit 20 home runs out of nowhere, and everyone was like, yo, who's this super hot prospect? But last year couldn't – did it's like sat out all last year with a mysterious injury. So we'll see what happens come later in the year. But they definitely have the depth I like around the field to compete and be a wild card one. I think they'll host the game this year instead of going on the road. I think they have the ultimate home field advantage of any team in baseball. Of course, yeah. Yeah, it's, they, it's unbelievable. Their their home and road splits are – it's it's insane. It's like – what do you call them? The, the Superdome of, of baseball? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah but Arenado, Arenado had better road numbers last year, I think. Arenado's just a good hitter. Yeah, he's, and he's, he's going to be a good hitter. Anyway. He's the best yeah. player in baseball. Agreed. Like I think so. I really think well, not, maybe not baseball, in, but he, in, in the NL. Yeah, he's I agree. definitely top five. I mean, top in terms five of position bro. players. Yeah, agree. Yeah. I, I, you can't, you gotta, you're gonna have a hard time taking it away from Mike Trout. I actually don't have either of those teams making the playoffs. I think for the Dodgers, uh, too many things went exactly correct last year. You can't expect the same thing from Rich Hill again. Alex Wood, you can't expect that from him again. Um, their bullpen going into Kenley Jansen, not the same. Uh, you already see a, a big injury to uh, Justin Turner, mm-hmm. and their lineup isn't deep enough to sustain a kind of injury like that. And when I'm looking at a team that who all right, who has kind of the total package here, I don't see the Rockies having the total pack. I like the Giants. I think the Giants have the pedigree as well. Like I said before, they have the culture, and they put stuff in place to win. Uh, Buster Posey had another great year last year. No one really talked about it, but a- around him now you put Evan Longoria, who is starving to contend. You put Andrew McCutcheon, another guy who everyone kind of wrote him off, and then quietly he became Andrew McCutcheon again last year and had just as good as a year as he did the previous two years. So you put those two guys in the same lineup, and you have a guy that can bat 330 in front of him. That's going to be an offense that could do a lot of damage. On top of that, I know Madison Bumgarner is hurt. I was just going to ask, doesn't that scare you? It doesn't scare me for one reason. It's a bone fracture, right? So if the Giants can stay about 500 without him, when he comes back, they give he's top five pitchers in the league. I don't think that's an argument. And when you, and when you come with the World Series kind of pedigree that he has, when you're in a one-game playoff for a wild card, that puts you over the edge, something that Met fans know all too well from two years ago. On top of that, let's not forget, him and Johnny Cueto at the top of that lineup is a great one-two punch. Uh, Mark Melanson in the back of the bullpen is a good closer. So I think that the Giants have enough to win this division. I think that they're going to come out of nowhere and really win this division and take it from the Dodgers, who, I again, I, I like the Dodgers. I get it. But that's a team that just had too many career years last year for me to be comfortable. It was funny in a league where everyone's like rebuilding and going young. The Giants did opposite and got Longoria, McCutcheon, and like veterans, and said like we're gonna push for this now. So it makes I mean, sense it, if you look at could, their roster. Could pay off. They have they have a kind of old roster. Buster Posey's getting up there. Brandon Belt. Who knows what the fuck's going on with how him? Lo- how long is Bumgarner expected to be out? Uh, it's a fracture, so I would say I six to eight. Yeah, I think it's a month and a half. Yeah, yeah six, six to eight, eight weeks. That's a lot, though, no? Uh, uh, what is that, like seven, eight starts? Right. It, but at the end of the day, at a 30? Or two? 
if they could stay at 500 until then or close to 500 the the return of him let's not forget they don't they replace him with Johnny Cueto is is an ace type pitcher so they replace him with an ace now it's the it's Jeff Samarji and Chris Stratton and and that those guys are going to have to step up cuz I I've hated Jeff Samarji for a very long time yeah. uh so We'll see what goes on with that. But they're going to probably need to make a move as well. I wouldn't be surprised if they made a move for a pitcher. So, What, what about the D-backs? They were a playoff team last year. No one, we didn't mention them. That's true. No one, that is they, a deep division. This is going to be a fun JD division to watch. Yeah, now the Padres got Eric Hosmer. They brought in Freddie Galvis as well. So, like, everyone made moves in this division to pretty much get better. Yeah. yeah Except, everyone's well, going to be better. Yeah. The D-backs lost J.D. Martinez. That's a huge loss. He was. That's a massive loss. Yeah. That's why I didn't even think about putting them in the playoffs. Just no, I'm, I'm also worried about Zach Greinke. I'm I'm worried about his loss of velocity. Now they have Godley and Rodney Ray, Ro- Robbie Ray, Robbie Ray, excuse me, Rodney Ray, uh, Robbie Ray, who took great steps forward last last year. And maybe if Zach Grinke becomes that third starter, then the Diamondbacks could could pitch well. But when you have a team that plays in Chase Field, it's called now the Bob. I I know it as the Bob. That uh, when you when you play in that stadium where it's just a hitter friendly ballpark and the gaps are so big, relying on starting pitching is not always the wave. Uh, so the fact that they lost to J.D. Martinez is is giant for me. But that's why they got the humidor in there, bro. But that's not that's not gonna close the gaps, you know. But it's gonna keep balls in the ballpark. <sighs> yeah. In the dry air. How do you like How do you like the move for Souza? Souza. 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 <laughs> uh, I mean, that's all right. I mean, they they they're gonna send Yasmani Tomas down. They said so. That they soured on him quick. He was you know a big deal coming out of. Cuba, um, I don't know. I mean, it's all right. He's a good ball player. For they them. gave up a lot for him, man. The, uh, he he was he was a killer in Triple A, but you know what I'm laughing. That's a at? lot. <laughs> I'm looking at their projected starting lineup. They have a shortstop. You ready for his name? Nick Ahmed. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah, Nick Ahmed. That's great. He's been there for a couple years. And now. they have a Jake why is that, Lamb. Why is that so? Yeah, Jake I need Lamb's, to buy his jersey. Jake Lamb's and nice. Then buy the uh, Ahmed. His jersey Jake Lamb is. might be affected most by the humidor. Yeah, he's a straight he, up power. He hitter. was in like two forty, but hitting like thirty five home runs. Yeah, Sousa. What's what? What's Ahmed? What's Nick Ahmed? Why is that funny? Our friends, friends. We, have, we, have two friends we have a friend, Nick and Ahmed. Ahmed. So it's you know you're nice when you have two first names in your full name. Like Paul he's Jordan. actually all right. I mean he's he's not that good. Yeah. Nick Ahmed. I don't know. It just stood out. It was pretty cool <laughs> as I'm looking at the projected starting lineup. I was laughing at Sousa. I know you were laughing at Sousa. Sousa was <laughs> fucker. He's uh, spelled Souza. It's Souza, bro. It's Souza. Whatever. It's spelled Souza. Steven Souza Jr. What like the the tequila? I think this isn't that tequila name Souza. Maybe that's why I fucked it up. I don't drink tequila. You don't drink tequila, man. It's the wave. Fuck that. I shit. got the Giants and the Rockies also on the wild card, but I'm worried about Bumgarner. I think anytime you're going to be missing your best player, it's uh for a, a portion of the season. It's something to to be worried about, but. I think that, you know, I'm big on guys that play on shit teams in any sport and then they get traded or they sign to a team that has a winning culture. And sure, the Giants had a down year, but, you know, this is a dynasty in in our generation. They won three World Series and the core is still there. So I'm going to go with those two teams. And I just like, God, the Rockies at home, man, is such a different juggernaut. And if they could somehow get a home game in the wild card, I think that's a game changer, too, for sure. Mm. So let's just recap what you guys got. Uh, my NL contenders. Can I just say that the Nationals, Mets, Cubs, Cardinals, Brewers, Dodgers, D-backs, Giants, Rockies, and maybe the Phillies all have a shot to make the playoffs. That is an excellent. That is an excellent National League race that's going to be happening this year. But who I got is the Nationals and the Mets out of the East, the Cubs and the Brewers in the Central, and the Giants in the West. Nationals, Dodgers, Cubs, Giants, and Rockies as my wild cards. I got the Nationals, Mets as wild card two. The Cubs, the Dodgers, and the Rockies as wild card one. Did a shit my whole life.